So I'm making this video about the brake bleeding using a diagnostic tool. Um, in the last number of years, the brake bleeding system in all the manufacturers isn't the same. So what you'll find is that you need to get the ABS pump module working while you brake bleed. Um, symptoms of that is a spongy brake pedal with excessive brake travel. So. Um, I'll speak today about a Ford Fiesta that uh, I just worked on, but I've also done um, Volkswagens with the same issue uh, as well. So, customer complained of a spongy, uh, spongy pedal, uh, excessive brake travel, and um, while it was working, if you were to press the pedal very hard and fast, you would you would have your brake; it'd be no issue. But the amount of distance between when you press the brake. And when it actually engages longer so if you were doing we'll say a parking maneuver going into a space or slow driving you'd notice it you'd notice it more so um what we've done is first of all we've done manual bleed so we pressurize the reservoir and uh, use vacuum on uh, all of the all of the brake bleeders and um, and it didn't it didn't uh, improve it at all so we within you we had to do a diagnostic uh, brake bleed using um, well basically using this tool which is the IDS system for Ford and what you do is you plug it in Um, I'm not doing a step-by-step -step guide in it because you will need that software to do it and uh, the items you need to make sure you do when you're doing one of those is you need the battery connected it needs to stay high in voltage while the test is being carried out the radio and air conditioning needs to be off you want no uh, accessories on inside in the car that would be pulling the power down while you're doing this test. Um, you need the brake reservoir pressurized. Uh, the system says between one and two bar. It's two at a time, so you do the front and then you do the rear. Now, the Volkswagens have a different procedure. What this video is about, if you have spongy brake pedal and you can't, uh, you can't rectify it or you can't, uh, you can't get on top of it with a manual bleed and you think, you think, that is, you think you're going to have to live with that, you may not have to. If you have a vehicle that has an ABS pump module, if it has a brake bleed function that uses that ABS module to pump um, on the diagnostic tool, well then chances are you'll have a, a vast improvement after that is done uh, especially if you have disconnected brakes or you have you have interfered in the brake line at some stage which caused the soft brake pedal um, i have seen on forums and so on that uh, a lot of people haven't gone on top of it and um, they've gone back to the dealerships and they've found that there isn't a solution um, in in any cases that I've come across with a soft brake, brake pedal and that has happened, we have got on top of it with the diagnostic tool. So um, I hope this helps you. If you are having that issue, um, wherever you are, I would recommend that you um, try this out, especially like I said in Fords and Volkswagens that have that excessive brake travel. Um, you should find a great, a great difference or a great improvement once it's done. And also if you do carry it out, and it's done right and you find that there is no improvement there may be an underlying issue with let's say the abs pump or it mightn't be doing it right as well um i hope you found this video useful uh if you did please like share and subscribe to my channel i will be posting uh, more videos very soon thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one